Hello everybody, Billy here, and today we are going to be drawing the besties in different universes. So, I don't know if you have Instagram, I don't know if you have TikTok, don't worry if you don't, I'm going to show you in a minute, but I recently came across this trend going on. Trend, Billy, what's up with all the trends? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I see cute things, I want to do the cute things too. Anyways, there's a trend going around where people are drawing themselves, their significant others, their best friend, their dog, perhaps, if you have a dog, um, in different show styles and different, um, uh, you know, what they would wear in this universe, things like that. And I love doing those kind of things. I have so much fun trying to come up with outfits and character designs that I wanted to jump on this bandwagon too. Anyways, if you don't know the videos that I'm talking about, I'm going to show you the one I discovered. It's by Oh Boy Art. I will definitely link them down below. Boom, there we are. See, we see them right here. We're gonna watch it together, and then you can kind of get a feel of what we're gonna be doing. literally so cute so cute so we're not going to be doing the shows that this person did instead we are going to be doing Sailor Moon Adventure Time and Splatoon I really wanted to make sure that I gave love to like my anime self and my cartoon self and then of course my video game self both of these all of these like things are things that um, definitely influence me <laughs> in my style and the way I do art and I love to give back to things that have taught me stuff so we're gonna get into it let's go so here we are I went ahead and did the regular everyday real-life outfits of me in the besties um, I just kind of went with some outfits that I know we wear a lot um, and even then I couldn't quite remember off the top of my head so did a little bit from imagination perfectly fine um we have angie on the right kenzie's on the left and of course your beloved me in the center ah uh, i know really how could you just put yourself in the center like that listen i don't know i just put me down i had the poses and i went i just put me down but to see the rest of the pieces i have already done them but i did speed it up and we're going to look over them together so the first one i actually decided to draw was sailor moon um, I don't know, I just thought I guess it would be the easiest one. In my process, the way I went about doing it, this is where I did the um, real life everyday outfits first, so I could use it as a base. I took those layers, I copied them, and then I would like lower the opacity and then just draw directly on top of them. Made everything a lot more simple and a lot more easier for poor little old Billy. Um, but for the Sailor Moon designs, I didn't struggle that bad. It was kind of easy. All I did was take our favorite colors and then basically put those as the skirt colors. And Kinsey, I think, has the most colors. Um, whenever we get over there, I'll talk a little bit more about it. But right now, we're starting off with Angie. Angie's colors are purple, anything kind of dark. I used, I believe, Mars's outfit most for inspiration. I mean, technically, they're <laughs> the gal's only difference in the beginning of Sailor Moon is just their shoes, which I liked. That was one, that was my main irk towards the end of Sailor Moon when they all started to have like more uniform style outfits. I get it, it makes them look more of a team. But listen, me personally, I prefer when they have a little bit of individuality. I thought it was cute. I saw, I thought Mars had her uh, high heels and it was cute. And then Jupiter had her boots and you know Sailor Moon had the knee-high boots I don't know it was different I thought it was cuter I am perfectly fine with the way it is because Sailor Moon has been done for years Billy it's been done for years so I swapped over to do Kinsey and as you can see I struggled only a little bit with the skirt sometimes skirts I swear to you struggle for no reason like pleated skirts I'm like this should be the most simple basic of shapes and then I still struggle <laughs> I still struggle 
but I'm very grateful that the Sailor Moon Sailor Scouts designs are relatively simple. It's not as intricate as doing like Tokyo Mew Mews or even Madoka Magica's like their magical girl uniforms would have taken a little bit more time and a little bit more effort into making sure those designs are a little bit more intricate. Um, I picked Sailor Moon 1 because we all love Sailor Moon. I recently got into it, fun fact. I did not grow up watching Sailor Moon. I did not see the English dub originally. I do not know who this Serena and this Darian is, okay? I recently got into it a couple years late, maybe, watching it on Hulu with the English Viz dub, I believe. Um, it was really good. I thought this dub was perfect. They had the Japanese names, but it was still like English and the voice actors were really well. And then sometimes I go back and I watch like the the first English dub with Serena and Darian and listen, I'm not making fun of it because I know a lot of you guys like hold that dub close to your heart because of nostalgia and whatnot and I get it. I too am a very nostalgic person. I can't get over the way Serena says certain things or like the fact that they named, uh, what was her name originally? I can't remember, oh my gosh. Molly. They named her Molly. And they gave her, what, what is it, a Brooklyn accent? I haven't actually watched it. Okay, I haven't actually sat there and watched the whole original English dub. If y'all want to see me react to it, please comment down below, because I will. Because all I've seen are scenes, right? I've only picked and choose a couple different scenes. But, oh my gosh, it's wild, it's wild. So we swapped over to me, my outfit, um, uh, a lot more simplistic in the fact that I only like changed my hair into high buns. I couldn't pick between doing top buns or um, I guess space buns is another, uh, another name for that. Space buns or ponytail. And a lot of these outfits, you'll see me either try to do a ponytail or like I would want to do a ponytail and then I cut it off and then just do a space bun mainly because of, um, it's really my, it was my issue. I shouldn't have you know, put her right in the center and then I couldn't do the ponytail because you wouldn't see it and it would look weird. I don't know what it is. Don't know what it is. I can't always do ponytails. It doesn't work that well. But for my colors, I just did yellow and orange. I did a combination of yellow and orange with a little splash of pink. Uh, Kenzie's I ended up doing red, green, and black. All of those colors really fit and match her surprisingly well. Uh, I didn't change her or Angie's hairstyles. I probably could have, but I just felt like Knowing them, you know, they might just kind of keep it down. They wouldn't change it too much. Um, maybe Angie would have done a half up, half down if I really thought hard about it. But also, this was kind of like, I just wanted to get it done. Um, a lot of these, you'll see, like, I, I did them. <laughs> I drew them. I didn't go as detailed as I would a finished piece. I didn't add shadows. I did, like, very simplistic highlights. And then that's about it. Right? I mean, I, I did the color line art because I, I colored it with the colored line art. I didn't make it black and then go over and color it. But um, now we're getting over to working on Adventure Time. And funny enough, I finished Adventure Time um, when the season ended, like when it was airing. And it was very emotional and it was uh, really feelsy because I grew up. Not really grew up. I don't remember how old I was when Adventure Time started airing. Maybe I was in high school, middle school. I feel like I should, I feel like I should check. I should check those dates. Anyways, it holds a special place in my heart. It was a big um, impact on my style at the time. And even now I kind of go back and will use some of um, Pendleton's styles to help, you know, things that I do. I'm pretty sure it's Pendleton Ward, right? I want to make sure I said the creator's name right. So I decided to make myself Finn. I, it wasn't more so a case of me feeling like the main character. It was more so a case of like, my headband already kind of like looked cute if I just added ears. So I said, I'm just going to do this. I really was going to make myself breakfast pan <laughs> breakfast pan princess because <laughs> I really love breakfast food. And I think I, I thought about the design and then I was like, yeah, but that's too much work. <laughs> I said, that's too much work. And so I just started right on. I'm like, OK, I'm just going to be Finn. I'm just going to be Finn. It's fine. It, it, this is fine. So I don't think Angie has actually really seen Adventure Time, which is perfectly fine. So my main inspiration for trying to pick a designer character for Angie to be in Adventure Time was just kind of going off the fact that Angie loves um, nighttime space in the color purple. And I went, what better than the one lumpy herself 
the lumpiness of lumps, her glorious lumps, Lumpy Space Princess. I only debated for a second in the beginning, like, oh, should I just make her a blob? I'm like, no, just, you gotta keep her kind of humanoid, whatever. Um, and that wasn't really too hard, trying to figure out a pretty design that would fit Lumpy Space. Uh, it was really nice having to do flowy, um, rounded curves in the you know end of the dress and then doing skins that's purple is always really fun. I have a really fun time coloring or, or like using colored skin tones. I don't know what it is but I always go like oh this is so much fun <laughs> yay! It's it, it makes me giggle. It makes me giggle. So Angie's wasn't that hard design wise. I went back and forth for Kinsey. I didn't know if I wanted her to be um, almost like a vampire like Marceline or Flame Princess. And you'll see that I ended up going with uh, the Flame Princess instead. And that could partly be because I've always connected Kinsey with, I don't even know if I want to say fire. It's just because she's ginger. And that's about it. <laughs> there could probably be a little bit more behind that, but I don't know what to tell you. I had the two options and I went, well, this one would be cool, but this one's red and orange. <laughs> And I said, I'm gonna go red. It was also in my mind to help um, contrast the purpleness of, you know, Lumpy Space Princess Angie that I made over there. And I thought that would be a nice little combination of colors. And I was like, well, I'm just gonna roll with it. Also, I thought it was a nice touch to keep the tips of her hair and like the tips of the flame as a different color. Good job. Pat myself on the back for that one. That was a good design choice. Good design choice, Billy. Doing the dress was a little bit hard. I was looking at Flame Princess originally for her inspiration. And then, of course, I was also like, well, I don't want to just exactly copy Flame Princess's dress. Uh, I, I didn't want to do that. I just didn't want to. So I mixed it up a little bit. It still has a, uh, the strange little diamond and whatever that. I can't remember what it's supposed to be, a collar or something. And then the flames at the bottom. But um, actually, I think what I used, it wasn't her adult it might have been like her teen form or, or it was one episode in particular she had like a knee length skirt i can't remember what it is if i if i remember editing billy throw it up here shwoo um that was the one i think i used more so for inspiration over her everyday outfits because i just didn't i wasn't vibing with it it wasn't that great which is a-okay so now we are finally moving over to splatoon I went back and forth on a couple different video games, so I know I mentioned like I wanted to have an anime, a cartoon, and a video game, and that was all fine and dandy, but for the video game, I was going to pick Zelda. I love The Legend of Zelda. If you can't tell, I'm a big Zelda nerd. I just, I love the series. I love the character designs. It would have been a lot of fun. I kind of had already known what I wanted to do with them, but then the Splatoon 3 trailer dropped again, or like the newer one recently. And I got a huge Splatoon cake. I've always loved Splatoon. And why is that word kind of hard to say sometimes? Splatoon. Split. Splatoon. Split. Anyways. So I was in a big cake of that. And I figured, well, you know what? That'll be kind of different. Because I had seen some people do Zelda and like the Hobbit and stuff like that in this trend. But I was like, nobody's done Splatoon. And Splatoon has very interesting, strong character designs. Like strong character designs. And it would be a lot of fun and I love like their funky fresh styles. What I ended up doing with them, I made Kinsey and Octoling as you can tell here and I kind of used our real life outfits uh, mainly for inspiration. I gave Kinsey a um, lower down big hoodie type thing and then the uh, leggings? Are they leggings? I think they're leggings. The leggings that the Splat people, um, Inklings and the Octolings normally wear, change the shoes up so they're not sunflowers, but the little like Inkling, uh, Ink Splats or whatever. This little cute, this little fun. I always love coloring <laughs> Inkling and Octolings hair. There's just something really nice about doing that gradient in the tips and then having like the circle opacities make it look instantly cooler, right? Like instantly. Obviously the more detail you put into those things, like the cooler it looks. But just a little simplicity of adding those two things. Those are just two separate layers. One of them was the tip color blended. The other one was just an overlay uh, with a little bit of a lower opacity of the same color. Just the circles. And that was it. And that just goes to show 
sometimes the most simplest of things can make it look even cooler. Even cooler. Now, Kinsey has played a little bit of Splatoon. I think I remember having her play it. I've played the game since like one on the Wii U. I specifically remember I bought Smash for the Wii U. And this was as I was in college, my first year in college at SCAD. And I was really sad about it. I didn't like Smash for some reason. I love it now. I mean, and I've always loved it. You know, I've played it since Melee and, and 64 and all that fun stuff. But for some reason, getting it for the Wii U, being by myself at my grandmother's house, it wasn't really fun. I had nobody to play with. I just felt like I didn't have any friends to play with it. I don't know. I had friends, but it just, we weren't close enough or I didn't know if they liked video games. I didn't know if they'd be into it. So I wasn't sure what to do with this. So I'm like, now I have this multiplayer game that I don't even want to play because it reminds me that I have no friends. I have friends. Don't feel bad. What I ended up doing was taking it and then trading it in at the GameStop for Splatoon. And I got super duper hooked. I mean, I played that game for hours. I don't even know how many hours is logged into that one. It, it baffles me. I, I mean, oh my gosh, it was such a fun game. It was such a fun, 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 fun game. I loved it. It was the only thing I really played on my Wii U, period, to be honest. So to be able to still play it, uh, playing two and then looking forward to three, it, it means a lot to me. Angie, I know, hasn't played it. She does plan on getting Splatoon 3. So I went ahead and made her an Inkling because I don't know if she had a preference for Octolings or Inklings. Also, I love the fact that they brought in Octolings in general, but I won't, <laughs> I won't talk about that just yet. Gave her kind of like casual, cute, um, modern-esque sporty styles. Me, I just kind of took what I was already wearing because I'm like, when I create characters in Splatoon, sometimes I go like funky modern or funky retro, not modern, but other times I'm just like summer. I am a squid. I am playing around shooting guns. I like to swim. That gives me summer vibes. So I'm going to keep my crop top. I'm going to keep my shorts. I'm going to put my hair up in a bun. And you saw this was where I was working on a, um, I tried to do the ponytail. I couldn't get the ponytail to look good. I ended up just going with the top bun and you know, like that was, <laughs> that was basically all I ended up doing it, and it was fine. And of course, yellow hair for me, uh, purple hair for, uh, I say hair. Yeah, it's hair. Tentacles rather, maybe tentacles color. I don't know. Purple tentacles for Angie and then the same orange, uh, bluish colors for Kinsey. So that was basically all of our little in process for all of the designs. And now I will show you the finished piece. Okay, here we are, finished piece, ready to roll. Let's check it out together. This is how it ended up. Yay. And I will let that loop and I'm gonna mute it, but very excited with how it turned out. This was literally so, so, so much fun to do. I love figuring out how me or my friends or my OCs or whatever would look like in a different universe or a different um, clothing style and things like that. I love character design. I absolutely adore it. This was so, so, so much fun to do and I hope I can do more. I mean, to be honest, I had like a, a bunch, a bunch of other <laughs> universes and stuff like that that I kind of wanted to draw in. So keep a lookout for part two. Don't know if I'd make a YouTube video out of it considering I already kind of squeezed this one, but I still had a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing my process and um, seeing the way I kind of work through these type of things. If you want to go check out this video, it's probably a better quality. <laughs> It's over on my Instagram, which is absolutely linked down below. Now, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like if you like these kind of things. I mean, I see these trends and these challenges all the time on Instagram. I know they're on TikTok too. I'm trying to get better at TikTok. I'm bad at TikTok. I want to learn it, but there's something about it. I just got to get better at it. But either way, you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I am internally grateful for y'all watching this. <laughs> leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, make sure you ring that little subscribe bell if you want to see more content. I'm going to post stuff every Wednesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Central Time, which is my time. I don't know what time that is for you, so you might have to Google to convert it. But I will catch you all in the next one. See ya!